Hi, I'm Shelby Spain. Welcome back to WTHS Sports Media. The Golden Wave football team took on the Saltillo Tigers last Friday. Jeremiah Harrell made a pass completion to Jake Milstead, who made the first score and touchdown of the night. At halftime, the Waves were up 35-0. The inning score was 55-0. The Waves made history by winning two shutout games in a row since 2008. Linebacker Tristan Jernigan had a night full of plays. He gives a play-by-play -play of the game. Well, just making sure I read my guards and making sure I ran to the ball, gave great effort and made the tackle. Gideon Deaton, the Waves kicker, also showed off his skills Friday. Uh, I definitely said the third kick, the touchback, because it's just been something I'm working on all offseason, trying to be more consistent, so definitely that. To witness the players on the blue turf, you have to follow the proper protocols. Alexis gives us more information on the clear bag policy. As many of you know, last Wednesday, Tupelo High School announced its new clear bag policy. This went into effect for all upcoming games, including Friday's game against Saltillo. Setting the guidelines for future games, security now requires all non-clear bags to be checked upon entry. Dr. Piku explains that this has no effect on the sports themselves, just precautionary measures for games. We're going to do everything we humanly can to keep our students and our staff safe here at the school. And that was, that was the deciding factor, another effort to keep our students and staff safe. We have kids and students and visitors that come from all over that we don't even know. Many other places in Mississippi, like Jackson and Starkville, have also implemented this policy. And Mr. Miller describes how Tupelo is just hopping onto this trend. Our, our school district is, is being proactive and trying to take uh, extra measures to ensure the, the safety of our students first and our, and our fans and visitors. Two fans of Tupelo express how they feel on this new protocol. My opinion on the bag policy is that I think it's more convenient for staff and students. I think it's good because everybody's out, our whole community is out, our kids are out here, so I think it's okay to check bags because we don't know what's coming into the game. Our next home game is September 30th. For WTHS News, I'm Alexis Lisi. Cross Country ran in the CCPS Twilight last Thursday. The middle school teams led in first place. The varsity boys played second and varsity girls led in first place also. Tonight football will travel to compete against Corinth. We're white out to cheer on the waves. Tomorrow morning, volleyball will host their 2022 Volley Fest. You haven't seen girls hit hard until you've been to Volley Fest. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I'm Shelby Spain, WTHS Sports Media.